Hello everyone, B Phoenix here. Apologies in advance if I'm sounding a bit stuffed. It seems that I'm developing a bit of an allergy, so sorry for that, just bear with me a little. Got another video for you guys today, showcasing some of Grig Mini's newest products. Always a pleasure. Some new 28mm miniatures for their Stalker line. This is essentially actually two products that I got bundled up together in a sort of a kit or a set. Later down in the video, I'll explain it to you guys. Grig actually managed to offer a lot of options, which is great for, for, for us as customers. And we'll get into it later down the video. So right now, I just want to show you guys that I already opened the box just to see if everything was accounted for and in good shape, which it is. So typical packaging from Grig, uh, the same that we saw with the, with the Bandit set. Uh, I'll link the video down below. I suggest you guys see it before seeing this one because this is pretty much a continuation from that video. So, as you can see, typical cardboard box with some of those packaging beans and little baggies for each of the miniatures. So, let's get these out of the, those baggies and show you some of that nice crisp detail. Okay, so now that we're here close and personal to our minis, let's check them out. Let's start off with the scientists. Now, if you guys have noticed already, um, Grig is uh, very respectful, let's say, of the stalker aesthetic. So basically his minis are very close to what you see in the video game series. So naturally the scientists are equipped with the um, SSP-99 suits. And this one specifically has an AK. I dig this pose, I dig the folds on his suit and the tubing going to his protective helmet. These will be great uh, for ZA, especially if you have the other uh, expanded rules that basically go into a bit more detail if you have different classes for your guys, like scientists and technicians or engineers, I can remember what they're called right now. So these guys are great. You, you'll probably notice that they don't have the, the tab connecting the feet anymore. I don't know if they do it like some sort of post-production to their minis now. But it still gives you a very nice area of feet to glue to a base. Actually, after uh, noticing a comment from Greg on Facebook, um, he mentioned that he actually sculpts his own weapons. If you guys remember, I thought they were 3D printed. And apparently they're not, which makes them even more impressive. The detail is very nice and they're nicely proportioned to 28 mil. Um, sometimes I get a bit annoyed that some companies make like these huge chunky weapons just to make them a bit more um, noticeable and uh, makes you able to differentiate between them. Um, GW does this a lot, I mean it, it makes sense but it also makes them look way way goofy in comparison to the rest of the mini. So this sort of proportions I really appreciate. These guys will look great with a wash on them to, to make all those folds more noticeable. So yeah, can't wait to paint these up. So that's the first scientist. Let's jump on to the second one. This one is in more of a, of a, of a walking or a running pose. You will notice that this guy instead of an AK has an L85. It's great to see some differentiation in weapons, much like you see in the video games. Some factions have more uh, a certain type of weapon accessible to them, while still being honoring, let's say, the video game, right? I think that's great, has a lot of variety. We got some variation now. We got this more aggressive stance on the scientist. If you notice from the tubings that, go, that are going from his head, this scientist is in a SEVA suit or a SEVA suit, however you want to call it. This is really nice. It has some really nice details such as the, the knee pads, the belts, and the pouches on the legs, probably for carrying artifacts. Those backpacks also have some really nice detail like leather straps, some buttons, Got also some of those characteristic shoulder pads. And you'll notice that this guy is carrying what is probably a Groza or an OTS 14, however you want to call it, which is very nice. 
fairly rare gun, not usually seen in real in real life, but it's prominent in stalker games. It seems that it has the attached uh, under under barrel grenade launcher, which gives it extra style points. It can also have a function in game. Next up, this guy's really reminiscent of the other bandit that had like a trench knife and also the pistol. However, this scientist is carrying some sort of equipment, which is very cool. If you're maybe maybe in your game, he's carrying an objective and has to be protected. Maybe it's some sort of detector for anomalies or for carrying additional artifacts. So this guy is very reminiscent of a typical scientist that you expect to see from the soccer games. He has a very nice pose. And he has this additional filtration device probably on his chest. Really, really nice. And finally for the scientists, we have another scientist with a Graz. So not much to say there. A fairly standard pose with the typical scientist equipment. So yeah. Very cool. Alrighty, so here we are with the loner stalkers. These guys, I mean, I really like the scientists, but these guys I'm just in love with. They're very, very cool. These stalkers are equipped with a very traditional hallmark of the series, the stalker suit or the sunrise suit, with those rib knee pads and shoulder pads also and also that very characteristic chest piece. This guy is with a trusty old AK-74 with taped magazines. He's using one of those uh, Gorilla, I think. That's what they that's the nickname of their of their of their gas mask. This might be one of those unique models made from the Stalker games. I'm not sure. It's still it looks great. Again, this guy has a backpack. You can also see on his hood he has one of those sh almost shield marks that in the game you usually see the, um, the faction affiliation. So honestly, however you paint this guy, you could paint him as a loner stalker. You could paint some blue or red colors to make him from duty or clear sky or even monolith if you, if you wanted to. Again, lots of pouches, a holster, which is also very, a very nice addition. And yeah, just a really nice stance, looking down his AK, yeah, I really dig this miniature. Oh, sorry for going out of focus there. Very, very cool. This stalker, now with just a, a wrap around his face, is sporting a VSS, or an AS valve, we don't know, we can see the stock. And... In my opinion, I don't know what you guys think, but it looks way, way better than the one that we saw from the bandits. We see some improvement here, which is great. Still, plenty of awesome detail there on the receiver and on the re and on the magazine, which is amazing. Also, a very nice weapon and very characteristic of the Stalker series. Very nice pose. Otherwise, it's pretty much the same from the other Stalker. Looks great. So next up, we have some fairly famili familiar looking guys. These could be used either as bandits, right? Or as rookie Stalkers. If we're being honest, guys, the difference in looks between a newbie Stalker and the bandit is fairly shallow. Rookie stalkers still don't have the experience or the funds to, to acquire some typical stalker equipment. Still, this guy looks great. We finally see someone also with dedicated sniper. I can tell if that's a Mosin or maybe a Mauser. I can tell, but you can clearly see it's some sort of bolt action sniper rifle. Another cool detail on this guy, 
as you can partially see here on his backpack is that he has some sort of chopped down version of also a bolt action now this could be a variety of things it could be some sort of chaws shotgun or it could be a chopped down Mosin which would make it an Obrez, right? anyway that's a really nice detail it's good to see some variation so another very cool addition and on that note we have this guy probably another rookie stalker or you could also use it as a bandit I think this guy is a bit too similar to another bandit that we found on the bandit set the only difference is that this guy has a gas mask so you know some variation not a whole lot but still a good addition and finally to close off the loner stalker set we have this stalker again that very familiar gas mask and this time with the Graza which makes him extra cool I really like this pose I can't really tell why it's not it's not a super aggressive pose it doesn't seem like he's directly in combat or anything it's like he is carefully walking around or maybe getting into some sort of position there's also although he is gas masked there's also a sense that he's investigating or looking at his surroundings being very careful so I don't know this might be one of my favorite minis from from the loner stalker set just very cool otherwise his suit is pretty much the classic stalker suit pouches backpack holster just very very nice so of course along with these guys we also got some flashes okay so our poor little farm pigs from the zone still look as miserable as ever there are no real updates here they come with a few of them on the stalker sets and on the scientist set and I'll get a, a bit more into it when I talk about the other options that Grig has offered in the market. Uh, something that I just want to quickly mention about these flashes is that if you're planning on using some typical 28mm bases for, for these miniatures, which are usually between 20 and 25 millimeters in diameter, these flashes in in their in their stance or their pose will just about make it you'll be basically gluing their hooves to the edge of the base if you want a better option for these or a more stable option I probably recommend you get anything bigger than 25 anything smaller won't fit basically uh, unless you do some trickery with terrain uh, but I really recommend you get at least 25 mil bases maybe 30 would be would be most appropriate for these guys just a quick mention basically this is these are the sets as you get them however and this was my point at the beginning of the video Greg has several several options in case there are some minis that you have some that you don't maybe you don't want to rain so this is basically basically what he calls the average uh, start collecting set which uh, has the loner stalkers and the scientists however it also has some extra terrain if you get the scientist set you get this really nice uh, basically barricades made from sheet metal um, wood planks and if you get the loner stalker set you get this really cool sort of like makeshift camp okay so here we have our first barricade some rivets on those planks and sheet metal some probably bullet holes you saw some action they are nicely based I don't know if you even needed to add any other sort of basing here I think they're great on their own they stand well they're balanced they are nicely proportioned to the rest of the minis so you can totally get a mini behind there however some of these also have some sort of viewing port or maybe firing hole it has the it has a nice texture to it the wood also has some nice detail you can see like the wood fibers so that's some very nice sculpting all around from from Greg you 
can see that he's good at minis, but he's also has some talent for terrain. Another perhaps sturdier barricade. This one has seen some scratch marks. Maybe a mutant had a go at this one. Some battle damage. Same for this one. These could also maybe be cool for a makeshift camp, maybe a bandit camp. Some quickly set up barricades. So yeah, these come with the scientists. So here we have the makeshift or temporary stalker camp. This one I think is a, a very fitting addition to the loner stalker set. This will make some really cool scenario for the zone, maybe again as a point of interest. Or you know, just maybe some stalkers met uh, really cruel ends on their camp. Or maybe they had to leave it in a hurry and couldn't back up. So here we have a bedroll with, it looks like, maybe a map. And another bag here on the side, maybe serving as a pillow, maybe just resting there. So, very nice. I could see you leaving these as is, so then you have more options on how you want to set them up. Or if you just want to grab the whole thing and put it in the base, that will also be very convenient too. So yeah, that's one bedroll. We have another one here. This one has some patches, also some torn marks. Life in the zone isn't easy, so your equipment needs repair. And this one is a bit folded. And of course, you can't have a camp without a campfire. So this is a very nice piece basically a chopped off oil barrel with some stuff thrown into it and a nice sculpted fire here you could go ham on this fire right you could do your gradients your glazes or use your airbrush to get some nice effects there maybe some osl and yeah you have just a bunch of then scraps on the bottom i really like this terrain addition to the stalker set i think it's very fitting you can almost reminisce from those in-game moments where everyone is around the campfire playing guitar. Ooh, that would be cool. Shout out for Greg. Make a stalker with a guitar. That would be awesome. So as extra terrain for this set, Greg also added the barrel and jerry can and ammo case that you already saw from the bandit set. And you also get these very nice and very large sandbag walls. These are huge, they're a big chunk of resin. And although they're really nice, I do have a few problems with them. So the first one being that I think they're a bit oversized. Now you could say that it's a literal sandbag wall, but the sandbags themselves are a bit off for 28 millimeter scale. So as you can see, the scientist next to it, it's pretty much all covered except for the head. Maybe it could be like a firing point. But I just think that the individual sandbags compared to the miniature itself are way too big. Maybe Grig uh, used some sort of sandbag from maybe a 148 scale line. I know he did those. He did these them himself because there are some very apparent um, sculpting marks around the bases. And this other wall set, yes, it comes with two of them. Also incorporates his little um, barrel terrain feature. See, but just uh, just a, a little note that I found with these sand walls. It has some sort of tarp uh, on top of it with some very nice folds. But yeah, I just think it's slightly oversized. Doesn't mean that it's not fitting for the for the setting. It's still perfectly usable for 28 mm And some of these miniatures, I just wanted to add a, a little extra note. Although I think that Greg add a added a lot of innovation in these new miniatures, I still think there could be some slight variation. So what do I mean by this? Let me just zoom in here for a little bit. So, for example, putting these two stalkers side by side, what I mean is that Grig used the same base for both stalkers. Now, these actually have some nice variation. They, they are in different poses, they have different weapons, they have different headsets or faces, I guess. However, I would like to see some 
more variation if that was possible. So m really make almost each miniature its own. Maybe have different styles of boots, of pouches, of belts, of backpacks, of suits. Then don't look that they came from the same... I know that they have the same suit, so it makes sense that the suits are similar. But you know what I mean? These very small details, if there was some variation there, that would make the miniatures very, very unique. So, same thing with this guy. You can clearly see that the base from both of them was mostly the same. And that's fine. I'm, this is really not a... Com I'm not complaining about it, I just think it's a small critique that would really enhance these miniatures a whole lot. Maybe it will make the production process a bit more difficult um, or more lengthy, but I think they would really benefit from small variations in detail. You could, if you have the freedom to do that here in this scale, because you can still add a lot of detail in this scale, I think that would be, that would really enhance the miniatures to the next level. Same thing for the bandits or the rookie stalkers. So again, these guys have different faces, different weapons, different poses, and that's already excellent, at least in my book. However, if they had some slight, some more slight variation in them, that would be amazing. Also, I don't think I mentioned that yet, these guys are true scale, or maybe not true scale, but 28 mil. So from their from the base of their feet to their eyes. They're 28 mil. So, no, not much scale creep there. These guys are true 28. This is the complete um, set that you get on the average start collecting set. So, on that note, you have some other sets too. Basically, you could get the stalkers on their own, the scientists on their own, and they come with their own little pieces of terrain. Also, with this set, you get about six flashes so in case you just needed some more zone hostiles and you also some you also have some other options there's an option that only has the um, character let's say miniatures so it basically has 15 miniatures the stalkers the scientists and the bandits and you also basically have a, a huge set that has everything so in case you guys are interested in those Greg is uh, selling those on Etsy, on his Etsy store and his Facebook page. I'll link both of them in the video description below. However, I really recommend you guys that you, if you are interested in these products, products, which you should be, these are really excellent and fairly unique. I suggest that you guys go to him directly through Facebook. Etsy covers a lot of extra taxes for small stores that are established there. So if you go uh, ask him what you want directly through Facebook, you probably save yourself and him some hassle and some money. He's been sharing his progress on the stalker line on his page. It's really excellent to follow, you can really see how he sculpts most of these miniatures. And who knows, maybe if this keeps developing, I really hope we get to see some more mutants. The fleshes are excellent, but I want to see more in that regard. And maybe some other factions. I'd love to see some duty, Maybe some monolith or some sort of zombies. Those would be great. I think I mentioned those on a previous video too. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay safe out there and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.